Prepare to land. Land. Stop, drop, and roll. These paratroopers aren't training to put out fires. They're fired up to jump out of perfectly good aircraft. It may seem a little crazy, but this type of training is vital to NATO's mobility. It's essential that we start to practice these procedures in peacetime so that in the event of a crisis when we're called to respond in minimal time, whether that's one day or less, that these forces, the airborne forces, which may be the first to be called upon, are prepared. With birds in the sky, boots on the ground, and everything in between, International Jump Week is a crash course exercise for NATO paratroopers of all ranks and skill levels. Although some service members landed a little harder than others, at the end of the day, it was all about the experience. Prior to arriving here, because obviously I didn't really like jumping that much, but I've, this week I feel I've accomplished the most, so I enjoy jumping more now. I'm not as nervous, I'm more confident in the aircraft, going out the door. Before a flight, I get really excited, and as I get nearer to my time of going out the door, the nerves kick in. Once you're in the air, you look up at your canopy, you just like, oh, happy days, mega. The ground comes up so fast, you don't expect it. Before you know it, it's like, bang, you're on the floor. This great fear when you're in the ground, you just lay there, have a minute to yourself, and then you're just like, yeah, that was good. Despite language barriers, differences in training, and the flag they wear on their uniform, service members from nine different countries came together as one. My favorite part of Jump Week is absolutely the relationships that we build, both with the Joint Force of the United States and with our allies. Really, to be able to get together with them, to talk about operations and procedures, and then really to build those individual relationships that grow out across units, that is the highlight for me. I've met some amazing people, made some friends from all over, so it's good that in the future, you know, if we ever cross paths again, you know, it'd be good to work with them, meet them again, keep in contact. With more than 300 jumpers and 500 jumps, there's one number that stands out the most, zero mishaps. Airman First Class Austin Siegel, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.